but the project was like a partnership between like Nathan Love, Flow Animation, and Lido Zoo. Uh, Nathan Love was a producer and uh, doing like all the all the I forgot the name. Uh, it's the like the, the like more creative direction and, yeah. and managing the client and all that stuff. And and yeah, go ahead. No, you can continue. <laughs> and, and we were working through Flow Animation. Uh, which is uh, uh, my studio here. So we were responsible for 3D and making all the assets and lighting out and all that stuff. And uh, Little Zoo was the animation, uh, was responsible for the animation part. So now Victor will talk a little bit about the, the production and the universe and how we went through. Yeah, so uh, the main reference for the, for the video was the, uh, uh, Mike Ryden, a work, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, he does, he does like this kind of like paintings with like some uh, really like unique characters in, in the art style, kind of like uh, some pastel work and Kate Paris, yeah, he made a portrait of her and she became like, I think, I think they're friends, right? Yeah, yeah, they're friends. Yeah, yes. and uh, so she really liked the style and wanted to do like something more like, it's kind of like, like, like circus thing with like some really like unique characters and visual so that was like the main the main like universe behind like the, the idea behind it uh so for our pipeline uh usually uh, uh normal pipeline is like you do the concept art the sculpting modeling production look diverse and facing uh lighting render and post-production this is like how it usually works but as pedro, pedro mentioned we had like six weeks to do everything so it's kind of impossible to do that so we kind of make a new pipeline which is pretty much like this like we had to go back and forth like a lot of a lot of times uh we didn't have time for the concepts for uh for like from scratch like wait for concept approval so we kind of made like the concepts while we are modeling like on the fly so uh, the same for like environments, uh, uh, we are modeling the environments and at the same time, like finding the right lighting for the environments. And like uh, we sometimes we even have like uh, shaders in the already testing like some post-production effects and things like that. So it was like a really like organic and kind of crazy <laughs> kind of way to work, you know, but it worked out. Uh, for example, uh, this character is the prince. Uh, it's funny that some people say that he's like he's uh, based on uh, uh, Orlando Bloom. Uh, he's not. <laughs> and uh, the first version was like this guy in like in a suit. Then they actually like to, after some exploring, we decided to go like for this uh, like like Latin prince and go exploring. So as you can see, like. All this was on the fly. We didn't have like to wait for like concept approval, you know. Uh, the same for the other characters. For example, the the ringmaster. The uh, all the like, uh, for example, uh, all the characters were done like uh, exploring and changing. And for this one, for example, the Higgs was already done when when you were talking. For example, when we when they were working on it. Uh, and the same for Katie, you know. Yeah, Katie was like. Uh, uh... We started uh, modeling her without knowing how she's supposed to look like in the music video. So we started just like guessing a few things and then we got a picture like of, uh, maybe one or two days before changing for rigging. So yeah, we, we just uh, did some adjustments and made her ready for production, but was a lot about putting stuff in 3D even if it doesn't look good, just to start a conversation so we could, could feel like what uh, that could go or not, you know, and we ended up going for that version. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I will just quickly go through like environments too. So usually for the environments, we started like the, the Nathan of team would, would get like some uh, reference for us and we would start working. So we, we usually go straight from the reference to some 3D tests with the camera and all that stuff. So we could start a conversation. So that was very quick work. And from that, we will send a 3D model so they can do like some quick drawing on top. And then we could like arrive somewhere that looks like the final. But uh, yeah, and then we do some render tests just to feel like how the light could look like. And while we are developing this, we are already getting the cameras and the animation, and we are working on the fly, just testing lighting and making things look like in the, the, the final film. 
So we went through this process like quite a few times. So uh, we got some references, then we go for the 3D, just testing cameras and, and, and see how, how the film could look like. And then we test like different lights and uh, yeah, and then uh, Victor, yeah, you can talk maybe a little bit about this one. Uh, so I kind of don't remember <laughs> what about this job. <laughs> oh yeah, so we went through this really process where uh, I started something and then Victor takes over and Victor starts something and then I, I take yeah, over. Yeah, it was really back and forth, like in like sharing files, right? Yeah, yeah, almost totally like a very organic process. Yeah. So we, we went like from like reference through conversations and putting things in the final. So mm -hmm. same thing for this one. So the client really like this first render here, which inspired for the this sequence here. So we work like exactly from from cameras and, and put, mm -hmm. put the characters in there until we approve like the final shot, you know? Yeah, and also like so, some decisions were, were taken like into the like very last minute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this one was like, we had some references too. And then we started like testing because we were supposed to have clouds every, everywhere. So we did some very technical uh, work just to see like render time, render times to see if it's possible. Then we went through a very rough scenes, you know? And then we kept working and improving the layout and the clouds. And then this one is like final animation, but lighting is not final. But then here we have like the final one. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, we went through like a lot of shots, you know, and different modes. So we, we had the chance to explore a lot of lighting and everything, but it yeah. uh, was a fun, really fun project to, to work on. And V-Ray was very stable. We rendered the whole film online through Re Rebels Farm. So which yeah. was and like a- cool one, thing. one thing also I think is cool to mention that like, we didn't have much time for process-processing. So like a lot of things like we, we took like straight from render, like Dolphin and Fog and all the stuff. And Ray was like really essential for that. Yeah, yeah. So as Victor said, uh, as you see here, it's pretty much like the raw render. So yeah, because we Some didn't like have color correction. <laughs> uh, uh, really, really quick grading. But yeah, that's that's all we 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 can talk for now because we don't have much time. So 